Hey dolls, welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Michonne and I do weekly DIYs, hauls, and other fun things. If you're not new, hey doll, hey. So today's video is just a little bit different or a lot of it different. It is not a Dollar Tree DIY or a haul, but a furniture flip, Goodwill flip, furniture transformation, whatever you wanna call it. I had a lot of fun doing it. So I really hope you guys do enjoy this. It is this beautiful hutch behind me that was a dresser, now a hutch. The biggest project I have ever done, but I am super proud of myself and I hope you guys like it. If you do, make sure you give me a comment below and a thumbs up because it definitely helps on my channel. And if you like what you see, consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you're notified every time that I upload. Also, make sure you let me know in the comments below if this is something that you'd be interested in seeing me do often, not too often, not like every week often, but maybe like once a month, once every couple of months. Just let me know if this is something that you like. I am refurnishing my entire house, so I have a good time going like thrift shopping and finding furniture pieces that I can flip around. I watch Ashley Lauren all the time on YouTube to figure out how to paint different things. Uh, Julia over at the Mug Life DIY kind of bit me with this like thrifting redo furniture bug when I did a collab with her a few months ago. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. So. <laughs> I hope you are too. <laughs> All right, dolls, let's jump right in. Is this what you want now? Feels like you're looking for something better. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, guys, so this is the dresser set that I bought from the Goodwill that I am looking to make a hutch. And it's just been sitting in here because I've had a lot of other stuff that I need to get down first, but. I knew that this was going to be a super big project, so I wanted to make sure I had time to spend on it. So this big piece right here goes on top here, so that's why it's an opening right here. And I'm not too concerned about the scratching up right here because it'll be covered. So the only part that I'm actually concerned or thinking about is this right here since it'll be exposed. So I'm hoping the paint will, you know, cover that and you know kind of hide it i've been watching some videos on how to handle it best i just do not have like an electric sander or anything i just have like sanding blocks and sanding paper and i'm sure that that is not a job for that but hoping the paint would you know hide it because it's not really too rough Um, I'm gonna take the backing out and then the pieces go, that go in there are right here. So those are gonna get painted as well. Um, so I'm gonna take these doors off um, and I really wanted to leave this part right here, but I don't know how that's gonna work. Cause they, it can detach from here, but I really like this and the detail that this has. Um, so we'll see and then for this drawer set I'm not 100% sh sure I want both drawers I bought a thing to fix like a drawer thing to fix this because this is all broken up so I'm not sure I want to do it so I'm still gonna paint it but I'm not sure I want both drawers but uh, yeah, so let's get started. <laughs> Let me get this going, because this is probably gonna take me all day. This is the paint I'm using, Krylon. It's Misty Gray and my chalk paintbrush. So the first thing I did was go ahead and clean everything down. I used just a simple rag and then I used a tacky cloth to get all of like the dust off. Next thing I did was go ahead and remove the doors and all I had to do was just use my screwdriver. Uh, once my husband's battery was charged on the electric one, I used that one. But these are what all of the pieces look like when they're off of the dresser. So 
like I said, I'm just detaching all of the hardware pieces so I can put the sides back on because I really like the detail of it and the look. And then took out all of the shelving as well. Next, I went to the back of the dresser to remove the backing. It's just like a particle cardboard kind of thing, and it just is screwed in. So I just removed all of those, and I'm not going to use this piece because it has that hole down at the bottom where it's like a, a sliding door opening because I guess this is like one of those old school dressers where you had the TV with the butt in the back, and so the opening is there for either that or like your cords or whatever. So so I just removed that and now I'm gonna get to start to painting it and yeah I mean it took me um, a good few hours I would probably say I started around 10 a.m. and I finished completely around like maybe 7 so yeah and then yeah so I just started from the bottom and went to the top I don't know what the best or easiest way is but um, I wanted to get me bending down out of the way quicker um so i just did one um good light coat on it first the, for the first one um i thought about putting like primer on here first i sanded a little bit with the sanding blocks and papers that i do have but it it wasn't much that i could have done i didn't i wasn't able to get a sander or anything so i just did the best that i could with what i have so um this is just what it looks like after my first light coat and this is my second time actually using one of these um, chalk paint brushes that are specifically I guess for chalk paint um, it holds a lot of paint in there um, and I mean chalk chalk paint I mean it, it can it can spread if you need it to um, but yeah so I just did the sides and the front and then going ahead and doing the top. Not realizing that once I put this piece right on top of the other one, the top of this won't be shown. So I, I in the end, I did three coats of paint um, for this, but this part is, you cannot even see remotely. <laughs> so I probably could have got away with doing maybe just one coat. <laughs> And this is what it starts to look like once I start to put that second coat on there. You can finally kind of see the coverage that it's getting and it's looking really, really nice. And because it's this chalk paint, it actually is drying pretty fast. It was a nice day outside, so the sun was kind of out and the wind was kind of blowing. So it was it was getting the job done quicker than I thought it would um, get done. If you see my last video where I've made over a bench for my son's uh, bedroom, um, that actually was not chalk paint and it actually took a longer time to dry and then it was an oil-based paint and it was just it I'm still learning how paints work on furniture I know I need more uh, experience knowledge and education on it but I mean hey it's it's working out but yeah so I mean I'm really loving the way that it's coming together and I will have that um, video linked up in the cards above or the description box below for you then next i went ahead and started on the second piece so the actual drawer piece and i did the back of the legs and everything and the actual the back part of this i actually only did two coats i didn't do three coats like i did for the rest of the piece um but this i mean this drawer part it actually took me no time to do because it wasn't as large as the top piece so then I move on to the drawers, go ahead and wipe those down again and use my tacky cloth to get all of the dust out before I, or after I remove all of the hardware. So I really, really love these drawers. Like I said, I went ahead and painted both of them because I wasn't sure if I wanted both of them. Um, and I'm, I have an idea of what I want to do with one of them. That'll probably come in a later video when I change out. Um, the hardware for that or the drawer I want to actually would really love to put like a wine rack um, down there so it looks a little bit more like a hutch and less like a dresser I mean it does look like a hutch now but with the two drawers I think I I think taking one out would do that pretty pretty nicely so and then on the top of this drawer where there was like a bunch of scratches and stuff, like I said, I wasn't really concerned about it because it's actually covered up. You can't see it, but I still went ahead and gave it um, the paint 
the same amount of paint coats for everything just so that I could have one cohesive look and you know I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Um, so then next for my drawers, I actually realized that my chalk paint brush was a little bit too thick to get into like the crevices and the creases. So I went ahead and took my paint brushes that I use for crafting my DIYs and I went ahead and used that to smooth it out and get a really good uh, finish because it was a little bit more detailed that I needed. And I actually used my crafting paint brush for the entire thing as I did the second and third coat coats for this bottom part uh, with the drawers and it worked so much better the lines are so, so much more smooth and it just went on a lot a lot better done with the rest of the piece I actually had this leftover piece of particle board I think that's what it's called I'm not sure but I used this to spray paint all of my DIYs and I thought it'd be perfect for the backing of this so I had my husband cut it down to size and then I spray painted it white and then went back over with some white chalk paint these um the next thing i'm doing is going to spray paint all of the hardware my flat white color uh, spray paint from rustoleum i also bought these button plugs to replace the button plugs plugs that were actually in the 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 set um in certain places so these were actually a little bit smaller than the actual size that they were supposed that they came on but it's okay um I fixed that but I just spray painted everything um, with a good layer of spray paint I think I did two coats then uh, after I let that dry overnight and just let it sit I went ahead and started putting piecing everything back together um, went ahead and took all of my screws and screwed them back into the back um, with the board that I had already uh, painted and what I do is I check to make sure that you cannot see, like my screws didn't go through like the side of the actual um, piece, the top piece, the hutch. I'm not sure what to call this now. I think it's just the top of the hutch. Um, and I lay it down so I can get the bottom. But I mean, this part was pretty easy to do. My uh, board was a little bit like warped in the sense of like, it didn't stay straight but the screws held it down really really good um, and I'm really proud of this piece I mean look how pretty it is with that white popping off of that gray I really really love that contrast of color the next thing I did was go ahead and start to screw back on the hardware pieces to the sides of what the doors were um, I really like these side pieces it brings this whole piece together um, because if it wasn't there, it would just not look complete. But having them there, I'm so excited about them because there's such a detailed, cute little finish to them. And it still opens up. It's so cute. I really love how this looks. I don't need to open it up, but just having it there just makes my heart smile. And then I went ahead and put those button plugs back in. And all I had to do was hot glue them in there and they stay perfectly. So they're on these door pieces and then they're also on the uh, frame of the drawer uh, piece on the bottom. Then I went ahead and screwed in all of my hardware pieces, my knobs to my drawers and then put the drawers back in there. I ended up not actually changing out the piece to fix the drawer part because it was totally, it worked fine. And then because like I said, I'm going to change out uh, the top drawer and make it a wine rack then I didn't really need to do that so I just gonna take that back <laughs> then my husband went ahead and helped me place this on top so I can get my finished look and I absolutely love 
love love love how this turned out you guys like i'm so proud of myself with this project this is the biggest by far not sure i want to do it again but now that i'm done i do want to do it again <laughs> at the time i was like oh i'm not doing this again but this is so so pretty look how beautiful